Hello and welcome back to another episode of Internal Rambles. This is your girl Rochelle. If you are new, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you for tuning back in. Internal Rambles is a very eclectic podcast. I talk about everything from my life, career, trending entertainment topics, music, etc. My normal episodes releases every Thursdays, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do have bonus content, which could include my reality show recaps. I also do my top five albums from my favorite artists. I have an unconventional book club. We are currently reading the memoir of Fat Joe, the book of Jose. Please read with us. And also I have a segment that I do with my close friend, G.O., The Male Perspective, with G.O. We talk about various topics and typically that is an episode that we have been doing monthly but um, there's no schedule to that so those release whenever we are able to record and release those episodes. So just a lot of different things that happen over here at Internal Rambles. You can reach me pretty much everywhere that you get your podcast content. I also release my audio on YouTube. If you do listen to me on YouTube, please subscribe over there, like, comment, interact with me if you choose. If you listen to me over at Apple Podcasts, please leave me a review. Let me know if you're liking what you're listening to over here. You can review me pretty much anywhere, actually, that you get your podcast content. That's helpful to let me know how you're doing, how you're liking the content that you're listening to. Every Thursday, I do, I start my podcast off with either Rochelle's rave, something that I'm excited about, I'm looking forward to, something that was positive that happened to me, or Rochelle's rant, something that's irritating me, that's frustrating me. And today, I actually have a rave. So this weekend is Martin Luther King holiday weekend, and it's actually my youngest brother's birthday. He's turning that ripe old age of 25 (laughs) and we have some things planned for him. So it's actually, I'm really excited and he's very simple. And I mean, if you think I'm low key, he is the lowest key. He is just very, he's the, he's the baby of the family and he knows it, but we've, we really haven't had a lot of parties for him or we just give him gifts. We, you know, we do the cake and ice cream, but we really haven't celebrated like really just went out out for him in a very long time so we've got a lot of stuff not a lot of stuff but we got a few things planned for him so excited to celebrate the little bro man he's growing up and so you know he's a good kid so excited about that and just excited to have an extra day off I took the holiday off so yeah excited to celebrate and have some family time and just be with the fam and and do that so that's the rave Taking a little time off, a little extra day off, and hoping to get some stuff done for myself too. But you know, really just be around family. So that's the rave for today. Hope that you know if, if you have a good weekend, good holiday weekend, and celebrate. And you know, it's a great time. You know, Martin Luther King celebrate him too. So understand why if you do have the holiday, or if not, you know, understand what that the importance of MLK Day is too. That's very important too. So. That is my rave for this episode. All right, so if I could please do a little bit of podcast programming announcements. Just what is to come or what I plan to do for the next few weeks. So if you are not aware, I'm going to tell you, but if you have been listening, I am back to my reality show recaps. I did, I was on a hiatus for a couple months. I'm back to doing Ready to Love. I just recapped the first episode of season seven. So I do not, I did mention that I'm probably going to have to double up at some times on, at some point on the episode recaps of that show. So most likely due to just my obligations this upcoming weekend, I probably won't get an episode recap for this weekend. I'll have to double up next weekend and I will be doing the recap of Married at First Sight, but I don't start recapping until the honeymoon. So you won't see that just yet. So just a heads up about that 
We are reading the memoir of the Book of Jose, Fat Joe's memoir, but we won't just start discussing that until March 16th, I believe that's the date. Check in in February, so heads up on that. And also upcoming... There will be another episode of The Male Perspective with G.O. that hopefully will come this month. And I don't have a date for that. If, it, if it's not this month, it'll be next month. But it, I do believe it will be this month. <laughs> just going to get that up and out to you. So just kind of um, heads up on some programming. Still rolling with... The reality recaps, we are back. And the male perspective, new episodes soon come. And so just kind of loose dates. Don't have just a definitive dates on anything, but just want to give a heads up that I will have to double up on Ready to Love. And I already had said that that will be occurring. So yeah, just kind of loose programming updates in regards to that. But you still will get the... Normal Thursday, 8 a.m. podcast episodes. My, like I have mentioned, my bonus content is bonus, and there's really no set schedule for those episodes. So that's that. <laughs> so let's get into this episode. And so this month is just super, there's a lot kind of going on, and just not every week, but schedule is ramping up (laughs) which is not a bad thing and I I was just thinking like within this last year I've kind of gone through this cycle of I'm like super busy for like a few months and then like there's nothing going on and I get busy again so that's that and busy is not a bad thing um it has been it's positive things just like the schedule just starts increasing and uh January started coming in unexpectedly with a bang <laughs> something occurred I didn't know that was gonna occur and and it just for me I tend to be a bit of a planner and and we all know we can't plan everything in our life and so sometimes things occur and once they my schedule gets thrown off it's just like I start having to play catch up and so yeah so just a lot of stuff going on you know hopefully some good stuff that'll be some good podcast come uh content coming up but yeah it's 20 the beginning of 2023 and we're only like two weeks in and it's just kind of been like okay 2023 I see you let's let's see what this year is about to be about you know and so I feel, you know, um, hopeful and like cautiously hopeful because I don't know, like towards the last, I don't know, quarter, I was like really hopeful and then some, uh, my I, my hopes kind of got rained on about a certain opportunity I thought was going to come to fruition and it didn't come to fruition and um, I just kind of I don't know what the feeling was I was definitely disappointed and so just was like um and you know that happens life happens and so now I'm just like you know you want to be hopeful but it's like you know I don't know like um it's challenging when you really put a lot of effort in something and then it's like that door closes but you know I always say you know when one door closes either another one opens or God opens up a window and and you go through, (laughs) you know, it's like, um, it, when it's, when it's right and what's for you will be for you. And so that's that. It's just like, um, some things have been, some things have been occurring within the last couple of weeks, not even the last couple of weeks, but within the last week where I'm like, okay, I don't know what's about to happen, but maybe this will be the year (laughs) and I hope so because I'm ready for some for some change um positive change so we'll see um that's like a quick that's not even a check-in that's just like it's just some things have been like okay I don't know what's about to happen but it's like unexpected um I've had to pivot a bit in a positive way so I'm like okay you know 
And they say, you know, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. And I, I you know, I'd be ready to go. I'm trained to go at all times, you know, kind of, sort of. So it's just like, let's see what happens. Um, and that's why it's like, I, I'm always trying to do goal setting and those vision boards. And I know kind of what I want to an extent it's not always fully visualized but it's just like you know I do know that there's certain areas in my life that I'm ready to, to change so that's like a very generic of not really saying anything because there's not really nothing to say because ain't nothing really totally happened but you know folks then been you know and then I had a conversation today with someone I'm like what you trying to tell me like stop playing with you you know kind of a thing so we'll see what happens and i don't know i just be minding my own business and trying to stay in my own lane so that's that and then um i had a conversation over the weekend and y'all i'm gonna tell y'all gonna be sick of me okay because like i said your girl is having a birthday and she gotta get ready so my my best friend, she texted me. She was like, so what are we doing for your birthday? And I'm just like, do you know? In my head, I'm like, girl. <laughs> so anyways, I had a conversation with her. Um, and she, now we turn in the same age and she has not even thought about her birthday. Okay, I'm just saying. But she ready to plan mine. <laughs> and she was very helpful, I will say. Um... And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I can't, I can't, I, I just got the location. I can't go beyond that right now. I can't wrap my head around this because it, you know, but she was actually very helpful um, she, because she, I mean, we've, we've actually been to this location before and I've, the irony of this, I've planned trips to this place before, but I just can't, I just can't. Um, but no, she was talking it through with me a bit. Um, but then something that she mentioned to me, she was like, but make sure while you're doing this trip, you're doing, you make sure you make time for yourself this year. And I was like, child, you ain't said nothing but a word. And that's important because, because I got a lot going on. Um, and nothing negative. It's just like, it's just. A lot that I'm trying to do, that I hope to do. I know I won't do everything. Um, but there are a few major things. I would say at least three to four major things. Best case scenario, I would love to do. It's going to take a lot. And But she was just trying to tell me, take some time. Make sure you take some time out for yourself. And do what I want to do. Um, because... At the end of the year, you know, don't be miserable. Like, oh, you know, I did all this, but I didn't enjoy myself in the process. I think that's what she was trying to say to me without saying it to me. And it's like you get so caught up with like doing things for other people. Work can be so overwhelming. Life can just be life, right? <laughs> so I take that time out and it's just being tired and just like make sure you get that time to just enjoy yourself like where you're carefree and you're yes so and I knew you know I knew what she was saying to me and so that's important and I know what I the one thing I would love to do for myself so yeah you know she knew what she was saying to me because <laughs> I'll get I'll get wrapped up in everything else um but I knew what she was saying so I appreciated that um, that reminder, that nugget, and I will make sure I, I, that will, that voice of hers, I think is going to continue to, um, periodically run throughout my brain throughout the year for sure. So kind of speaking of just like how, and I'm going to, I don't know why I'm actually, I do know why I'm saying like, I'm very tired today and I'm, I know I'm talking really fast and I, can be a really fast talker, especially when I'm tired. <laughs> um, but I saw this thing on Instagram and I was like, if this isn't me, um, I don't know who this is. And this woman was talking about just how she doesn't know how people do it. 
and like how can you work and do this and do that and do that and still at the end of the day cook and like fulfill all your obligations and so I'll talk about it I'll play the um the video and because she explains it perfectly and then I will talk about it truly struggling to understand how I am supposed to work a corporate job have a side hustle because you know capitalism have a passion project so I don't lose my soul cook so I'm not eating out every day hurting my body work out so I can stay sane and healthy have a social life so I'm not a hermit have a love life so I experience healthy connection keep my hair done which I'm obviously failing at keep my nails done stay in touch with friends and family with 24 hours a day and I don't even have kids so the fact that some of y'all do this with children and like a husband is really outside of my realm of understanding because I'm struggling when I tell you I related to this video so much because I don't have children children and I literally like I said like this month has really ramped up I've been super busy don't know actually I do know why I was gonna say I don't know why I do know why I struggle with because it's hard for me to cook and it's just me like I just need to eat <laughs> I'm not cooking for a family I'm not cooking for children like I just need to be satiated and nourish myself <laughs> and it's just I don't want to get off and work and cook and I struggle with this because I used to work on an off tour like overnights but I haven't found a groove where I'm able to cook I've just really gotten into a rut where I'm just like either I'm making a quick meal or I'm just ordering food or it's like give me like a lean cuisine <laughs> um but it's just like I've been super busy things have been coming up within the last couple of weeks so it's just like I've been so hungry and I don't know what I want to eat and I'm just frustrated I just will get off of work and just go to sleep and I'm like I'll figure it out in a few hours it's just like which is so not good like I I will just go I'm starving but I'm just so tired and then I'll just like eat veggie burgers which is not bad but I don't want them veggie burgers <laughs> and I order out a lot and it's like it's really pandemic bad habits because you have Grubhub you have Uber I don't actually I don't do Uber Eats but you have um Grubhub and DoorDash and da 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 and this and that and or let me just run and go get some you know and it's just um Instacart and oh god it's just so many options now due to the pandemic it's like so many different ways you can get food and and then it's just so and it's I don't leave my I work from home now completely and I don't leave my house very often. And I've always been like that. I've always just been a homebody. But now it's just like, bro, what I'm leaving my house for? <laughs> I go see my mom. I go get my hair done. I go to my medical appointments. Um, but I'm really just now out and about. You know, I've been, last year I did start to be out a little bit more. Um, but it's just, it's hard to have a social life. And it's just, you know, I do get my hair done, but I used to, I mean, ever since I was a teenager, it's like I used to get my nails done, my this, my that, my eyebrows, and it's just like, thankfully my hairdresser does my eyebrows now, but it's just like, I stopped getting my nails done, I do them, I do my nails now, but child, I, I've even like, just, I'm like, you know what, I'll do my nails later, like I just been wearing them natural, which I hate, I actually hate, like i I don't like my nails not having nail polish on them, but I'm just like, I'll just wear them natural. <laughs> it's like, girl, you don't like that. But I just, you know, um, if I'm not going to an event, I'm not, you know, I just, I really don't go get my nails done anymore. It's just, it's hard to just maintain that. <sighs> and yet she still wants to get a man and get booed up, right? Okay, so... I don't know how to, it's just, it's hard to manage, um, when I'm just home so much. Um, I don't know how y'all parents do it. Hats off. Cause I just, I mean, I, I do know how you do it. You have to, because you have to, you're a parent, but man, it's a lot. It's a lot. And I just, 
that cooking thing. And I used to love to, the sad things. I used to love to cook, but I just, it is tedious for me. And it's just like you, I had the crock pot. I have the um, air fryer. Child, we ain't going to talk about my air fryer. We ain't going to talk about it. <laughs> um, and I know how to make, you know, meals that'll last. But I'm also like a really super picky eater. And I get tired of things really easily. So there's that. Um, so it's just. It's frustrating. That's I just want to. I just really eat to just so I, I don't be hungry at this point. So that's that. It's it's just it's a lot. It's a lot, but you gotta do it. And that's my my goal is just to like get back to eating better. Stop with the door dashing and the grub hubbing and uh, <laughs> get back to better eatings and I know like my friend she does the like the the healthy meals that gets delivered and um you, there's also the what's the one that everybody does um hello fresh I couldn't think of it and I see it all the time um I just I don't know I I, I think I have a fear that I'm not gonna like those meals but people seem to like them. That probably would be the best alternative, really honestly, for me right now. At least to try it to get back on track. I have to do something. So, I don't know. How is it for y'all? Do y'all struggle like I do to cook? Because, woo child. Mm -mm -mm. It's, it's only actually been within the last couple months that I just be like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah, that's that. My goal is really is just to try to get back to cooking for myself and not ordering out so much. Because that, that really does add up, truth be told. And I really actually don't eat bad, really. Um, I, I really do balance it out. It's just like I think my frustrating part is just like I don't know what to Like I'm tired. I eat the same things. I just need more variety. I think that's the frustrating part for me okay let's um I'm gonna pivot a little bit let's talk about some stuff in entertainment and I wasn't gonna talk about this because this is just so ridiculous <laughs> I'm only I'm really gonna spend like 2.7 seconds on this but I don't know if you saw and I didn't even see the whole thing I literally saw maybe one video maybe two the, and the, the only reason why I'm bringing this up because I really want to bring up this content creator that I really enjoy. Uh, that's really more of the point of this. Um, but Keith Murray did this ridiculous interview that he should never have done where he was telling all this ridiculous trash stories about women, rapper women, um, that he says that he did, that he did nasty stuff with and it I'm I don't I'm not sure if Keith is on anything I don't know but it's like why 20 30 years later he, he's telling who he did whatever with one one woman said she never even met him Sean I was like I never even met Keith Murray it it was just ridiculous but the parodies were hilarious and <laughs> that's really and there's this this guy, his name is Lou Young. He is hilarious. He actually used to be a football player. And now he's doing a lot of content on Instagram and YouTube. Him and his sister. I believe that's his sister. But he he parodies everybody. He has done. He's, he parodies Deion Sanders to a T. He does <laughs> Gilly the Kid. Uh, he parodied uh Keith Murray I mean he is just hilarious so check out Lou Young on Instagram on YouTube he is funny everything he does just have me dying laughing he's actually done back in the day um some Steve Harvey parodies but that was really it there's really nothing to talk about Keith Murray um it reminded me of Irv Gotti's BS talking about Ashanti and like these old dudes that's bringing up like trash stories about what they did 
in the bedroom with women like why would you do that that's ridiculous but I don't know if it makes them feel better about they sell their selves or I don't know but the point more so is check out Lou Young because he's super funny <laughs> and that's like I like you know some of these content creators like Desi um said what's his name Desi Banks that are just super hilarious like I like watching them on Instagram all right I think I have one more topic and then we're getting up out of here and if not maybe not maybe have more I don't know and I've mentioned that I um I listened to relationship restored with Dre and with why am I blanking on I see her face why am I blanking on her name <laughs> Rhonda I'm sorry I did I mention I'm tired with Dre and Rhonda and um they I don't know if it's if it was last it's a recent episode and I'm paraphrasing and I don't even know if I'm getting this totally this question that came into their podcast totally correct cliff notes version of the situation is that this woman i believe that she was with this man for three years he's met her family her does she have a child she may have a child the point of the matter is he's uh he's met all the important people in her life but she has never met anyone in his family she only recently has met his friends and she's asking you should she stick with him should she leave is she a priority etc after three years and this is and I, you know it's hard when people like ask questions because it's like you know whatever but you only get one side of the coin but after three years and they they live in the same area it's not like you know she's in California and he's in New York but even so even if you're in Timbuktu you ain't never met none of the family after three years one two three (sighs) something's not right with this picture you can't be like the girl like the main girlfriend and you you thinking about marriage you know a house a home you know longevity you ain't met nobody in the family i'm one of the ones i don't want to meet nobody in your family <laughs> unless we're really talking about and i know i'm very I, i'm a i look at relationships super differently because if we're not really talking about long term and that's the thing this is a thing if we're not talking about long term we gonna be together we in it to win it marriage I can, I can under, but that's the thing. I wonder, does he not see you for the long haul? Because friends, I mean, friends, I mean, are important. But when you meet in the mama, the daddy, the cousin, the uncle, the auntie, the grandmama, the granddad, that means that's something important. That's blood. That is significance. So that's important. That means I want you in my, I mean, now uh, listen. I know from facts and experience, people, you know, you can meet somebody on Thursday and meet their uncle on Monday, but, and that may not mean anything, but I'm just saying like, it, it, when you meet the family that is, you know, typically, or that could be, that should be whatever, whatever the term that, you know, that is important. But the fact that after three years and, you know, and oh, the other part I think is he has a child. She, he, he will not, and he will not let her meet his child. That's red flags. That ain't even pink flags. That's total red flags. That means that he is compartmentalizing her in some way in his life, and they don't sound like long term. <laughs> and so I know for me. God bless that. When my father was alive, you wasn't meeting my father. That's long term, you know. Mm-mm. And I don't know. I just, I mean, my mother was cool and, and, and not saying my father was, but I mean, I don't know my father though. Ah, it just, it just was something that 
significant about you done met both of my parents. You know, I don't know. I, that You wasn't meeting my father. <laughs> you had to be significant. And I think also it's like typically, right, you ask, you know, the parents, you know, the father's walking the daughter down the aisle. Can I have your daughter's hand in Mary? It just was another level. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. Now, you wasn't meeting my father. Because <laughs> my father may cut up. And my mom cuts up. But my father cuts up, would cut up in a different way. And it's just, I don't know. It's just like, my father, though? You can't meet the daddy. I mean, it just was different. I can't explain it. And But my mother was different, too. Because my mother would be like, I ain't trying to meet no... And then, but now she like, why you don't ever let me meet nobody? Because you used to cut, but they both used to cut up in different ways. They both didn't really, but I used to have to force my mom. And then she got cool. And then it's like, you so, are you, you got somebody you so secretive. You remember when I used to have to force you to meet? <laughs> they didn't want it because I was the baby girl. What I don't even know what I was. Child, they did not want me to date. And so it was like, well, somebody got to meet somebody, you know. Uh-uh. So, <laughs> but yeah, you wasn't meeting both of them now. You can meet one, you know. I don't know the lesser of two evils. I don't know what it was. They just was, they, uh-uh, not the baby girl of the family. But, child, please. So, yeah, I mean, but, I mean, nobody in the family, you, after three years, child. That that question was so wild to me. And she was just like, oh, I'm going to, you know, he's buying a house. And I, I mean, when I, when I, I love us, but when we be holding on, don't we? <laughs> Some of us. He's going to buy a house and I'm going to help him finance. But you ain't met nobody in the family, though. She, she's going to insert herself in that life. I'm it's hard listen to that episode I would love if you if you do listen to that episode it's if it's not this current one it's it's the last one I think that was wild to me I don't know we hold on we hold on to what we want to hold on to but nobody in the family not one family member but but even if you met one family member, like you ain't met the family after three years. I don't know. I could keep going on. Actually, I feel, I feel a tangent coming on. I'm, I'm going to stop there. <laughs> I feel a tangent coming on, y'all. Woo. So I'm going to talk about this. So Future's doing. So they were like, oh, Future's going on tour. He has like 10 dates. And they're like a tour to me. I mean, it is a tour, but. But the picture I've seen future, does, I can't remember. Let's just say three times, maybe four. Um, but it looks so cool. And I'm like, I want to see future. I ain't seen him. You know, I love future. Um, he's one of my favorite hip hop artists. But he like the stage and he has like these props. I was like, I ain't never seen future like this. But I'm like, oh, man, I miss. I, I mentioned that I've, I've been to plenty of concerts. Um the pandemic stopped me for about two years and I, I started going back last year um, and I got one coming up soon but I'm like man I'm like oh I want to go see Future and people have been like posting or actually Future's been posting but I've been seeing a little snippets and I'm like yeah this is some different this is like he putting in that budget he got that budget but you know actually yeah I you know it's definitely a different type of a show but I recently saw um, a snippet and I was like yeah Future wasn't doing them type of shows when I was going to them that's just like a super duper random super aside but yeah hopefully I'll be going to a concert soon and I'll be telling y'all about it um yeah I'm excited I finally am getting back to the shows so that's exciting and the Golden Globes were this week in a lot of, not a lot, but Quinta Brunson won and Eddie Murphy got some sort of Lifetime Achievement Award. And I can't think of his name, but he was on Everybody Loves Chris. He won an award and then 
um, what's that show called? Uh, Abbott Elementary one. And, um, I'm going to reserve my comment on the host. I have a thought, but I didn't really see it. So I can't fully comment on it. I do have a bit of a thought, but it would be irresponsible because I didn't fully watch it. But my boo, Brad Pitt, y'all, did I mention I love Brad Pitt? I think I did in my last episode. He was there and it was, they was fawning over him and understandably so. <laughs> but shout out to the winners of the Golden Globes this week, last night actually, from when I'm recording this. So kudos to everyone. So I think we're going to wrap it up. I do not have any show recommendations. I don't think I've been watching anything new I don't think so nope um no so let's get a song of the podcast and then we can get on up out of here today alrighty the song of the podcast today I'm, I'm gonna take y'all back like back in the day I was watching this video I love Deion Sanders like and what he's doing and just his videos and his videos as he's coaching and with the, the students and then and the athletes and then also just love just his videos with his kids so he was um with his daughter and she was trying on some shades for I think he's doing like a shade line upcoming and so in the background he was playing an oldie but goodie and it was by Rolls Royce wishing on a star now if that ain't an oldie but goodie I don't know what to tell you when did this come if I can find out when this song came out I don't know if I can find oh I think maybe 1977, possibly. I said it was an oldie but goodie. <laughs> Love that song. And I'm not going to look. Someone remade it and I can't think of who it is right now. But there, I'm actually, I'm sure may, maybe more than one artist did it. But I can't think of the artist that I'm thinking of who made Wishing on a Star over. So, but nonetheless, the originators, Rolls Royce, uh, Wishing on a Star. That is the song of the podcast today. So I hope that this, these first couple of weeks in 2023 are doing you well and that you're having a great start off of your new year. I hope that you are working on some positive goals and starting up some new goals and I hope that you are taking care of yourself and practicing self-care, doing what you need to do for you, and listen to my previous content. Are you telling your, your loved ones, your mother, your sister, brother, cousins, whoever about internal rambles so that they can get in on this great content? If you haven't, please do so. Please share this great content with the people in your life so that they can get in on it too why would you hold this all to yourself share sharing is caring and it's a great thing to do <laughs> listen i hope that you have a great weekend don't forget to subscribe to me have a wonderful martin luther king holiday weekend rest in peace to mlk thank you for all that you did for us i hope that you have a safe weekend enjoy this content again share it and until next episode as i always say take care of yourself and if you are able to take care of each other and until next episode this is your girl rochelle